How to graph y equals the cube root of x. This is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. You will need graph paper and a pencil and press pause anytime as needed. If you don't have graph paper, you can download this PDF at this website, which can be printed with 20 grids on each side. So y equals the cube root of x. Start with a grid. We encourage you to make a table. And these are the five values that we are going to use to start. You may wonder why we picked those numbers. Well, we're trying to find the cube root of numbers. So we're looking for perfect cubes. So go ahead and pause and complete the table. Hopefully these are the values you got. Notice you can take the cube root of negative numbers. So let's go ahead and plot the points. So 8, 2, the cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of 1 is 1. The origin is on there. Negative 1, negative 1, and negative 8, negative 2. But right here, what does the graph look like? Is that a straight line there? So to investigate that, we're going to use two other numbers. 1 eighth and negative 1 eighth to see what's going on there. And you probably again figured out why I picked those numbers. Those are perfect cube fractions. So the cube root of 1 eighth is a half. Half times a half times a half is 1 eighth. And the cube root of negative 1 eighth is negative 1 half. And so go ahead and plot those two points. And you can see it kind of flattens the curve around the origin. So it's like more of a curve here and more of a curve there. We do say that these points are symmetric about the origin. We talked about that in the x cubed graph. To illustrate that, we'll look at the table. And then we will look at the points. And then the table here. And those corresponding points in orange. And then these in lime green. So that's what we mean by the points are symmetric about the origin. So let's go ahead and connect the points. And you'll notice when we connected, the curve is flattened there. So let's go ahead and look at some terminology. The origin on this graph is called a point of inflection, just like we have one in y equals x cubed. This is where the curve changes from concave up to concave down. Concave up right here before the origin to the left of it. Concave down afterwards. So it's like a half of a smile right here and half of a frown right there, and this is the point where it changes concavity, right there, point of inflection. All right, so now we're ready to look at the cube root dance. So we'll go with five points, starting with the point of inflection. And then our dance will be right one, up one, the cube root of one is one. Right eight, up two, because the cube root of eight is two. Left one, down one, the cube root of negative one is negative one. And left eight, down two, the cube root of negative eight is negative two. Again, we'll tr draw the curve, remembering to flatten it around the origin. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and look at domain and range of the uh, cube root function. So here we have the graph and the table right here. So we'll look at the domain first. And you can see that if you look here, all the real numbers have a, a point either above or below it or right here on, on at the origin. So the domain is all real numbers. And we usually write that with the script R. The range 
kind of goes slowly, but all the y values have corresponding x values, so all real numbers for that as well. So the domain is all reals and the range is all reals. We invite you to interact with another video in this series.